Hey there, greetings everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're back with episode number two of my favorite Beatles albums. So today's album is A Hard Day's Night. Yes. So for those of you who are new, haven't seen any of this, what I'm doing is I'm just talking. I've got five questions for myself to do a video on each of these five albums that I've chosen that are my five favorite Beatles albums. They're not in any particular order, just in case you think this is like number two or number three or whatever. It's not. I just put them randomly in there, but they are my five favorite albums. So um, the album I've chosen to do today is A Hard Day's Night. Yes, love this album. Probably of the early albums, it's my favorite um not necessarily because it has the best music on it i just i just there's a lot about it i like i love the cover i love the quirkiness about it all that stuff um the pictures of the boys are really good um, the album itself is clean uh, as clean as far as uh being assembled nicely and you got this thing on the cover here of each of them doing quirky things which i've always liked it was probably one of the first Beatles albums I've ever I ever seen on the rack, um, and my my dad's brother was a huge Beatles fan, and he had this album, and I remember looking at it. Um, so this came out in 1964. That's the year. Um, the significance of this album is obvious. It was a movie score or a movie soundtrack, if you prefer. But unlike a lot of movie soundtracks. Um, some of the Pink Floyd stuff you've seen, other bands, uh, um, Phil Collins does soundtracks and stuff. Unlike all, a lot of those, the Beatles were actually in this movie. So they played the parts in the movie. So that's the unusual thing about it. Um, so this album, I think, is quite well liked by uh, Beatles fans because it has a lot of that poppy stuff. Now, there are people that didn't like that poppy stuff and prefer the more psychedelic stuff that came out later but um, this this is a this is a really good album um, music wise as far as um, really catchy songs really catchy beats like you got a hard day's night on here I should have known better um, and I'm happy just to dance with you yeah I like that and I love her is probably my favorite track on this album even though it's kind of a softy I still like it a lot. Um, tell me why can't buy me love. Uh, I'll cry instead anytime at all. Things we said tonight. When I get home, you can't do that. I'll be back. And, you know, it starts out with, of course, The Hard Day's Night, which is the most iconic song on the album. It has that iconic guitar riff right at the beginning. Yeah, so real catchy. Um, so the unusual part about this album of course is that it was a movie soundtrack that the Beatles actually were in the movie playing at their parts so yeah really um really good this is the Beatles probably at their their heights of their career in 1964 height as far as their poppy era goes anyway maybe they reach new heights with some of their later albums but this is a very solid album one that deserves um, deserves time and and to listen to it. And this particular one too also has uh, other than the uh, like the the inside pictures which are great like that, and then you got the one on the back cover like that. But this also has the book which talks totally about the movie, about them recording the songs, um, a little bit about each of the tracks. And a little bit of a written part about each of them making comments about the album too. So, and what what was going on in their mind when they were doing it. And he's got this this quirky stuff too that they did in the movie. So yeah, one of the one of the classic uh, Beatles albums that you know if you ask people, hey, what do you remember about the Beatles? Well, they were a great rock band. They sang all these great songs, but they also did a couple of movies. And if you ask them what were the movies, they always say Help and Hard Day's Night. You know, so there you have it. Uh, the Beatles, episode number two, the album Hard Day's Night. Um, I think it's a great album. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. 
Uh, please leave your comments about the album or anything I've said in the comment section below. That's much appreciated. You want to rank your five albums too, you can do that. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss episode three, which will be coming out tomorrow. And we will see you then. So have yourself a good night. Take care.